Carl Summer, president of Reliable EDM, has a wealth of machining experience. Having worked as a machinist, tool and die maker, foreman, tool designer, and operations manager, Carl now shares with you from his wealth of experience. Part two, how RAM EDM works. I like to speak to you about the kind of finish we can get with RAM EDM. First there's a rough cut, and then there is a finish cut. Let's take a look at this video where we'll be seeing rough cutting and finish cutting. Notice on the video first that rough cut, you see the sparks, you see the fumes coming out of the cut. Now look at the finishing cut. You see hardly any fumes coming out. Uh, now I'd like to show you what happens inside the cut. In a rough cut, there's a lot of energy applied to the electrode, so the sparks are large and the cavities are large likewise. In a finishing cut, the sparks are very small, and so these cavities become very small, and we can do quite a number of finishing cuts depending how, what kind of finish you like to have. This machine will go into a hex orbit. It will actually go on each side of the flat. Notice in this finishing cut, as the electro is going in its hex orbit and it's cutting, notice the sides now, there's a lot less debris in the, in the oil because of the sparks are so small. So it's removing very little material. Notice because it's orbiting, the electrode is always made smaller. And that depends how far out you want to orbit. And that's done by the programmer when he makes the electrode. And so because of the orbiting, as you can see, going into these flats over here in this hex orbit, the electrode now is orbiting out, so making the cavity larger. This is a sample piece we had in the machine doing the roughing and the finishing cut. Just take a look at the fine finish of this piece. There are two cycles in RAM EDM. There's the on time when many sparks occur, but between every on time, there's also an off time. Let's look at this diagram now and see what happens during the off time. In this diagram, we see controlled erosion takes place in the workpiece. And here we see the dielectric oil during the off time cools the vaporized material. So this is the off time. You have to get rid of these chips. And the pressurized dielectric oil removes the EDM chips. Then we show it from here. Now there's a number of ways of removing the chips here. The electrode moving up and down, this pecking of the electrode, creates a pumping action. In the old EDM machines, they used to put holes into the electrodes on angles to assist in flushing. But the new machines now with their pecking abilities, we find that we don't need many holes. But still, a hole in an electrode does help. And I'd like to show you this one video where we are cutting horizontally with a hex electrode. And you find there's a hole in the electrode, just like this one has a hole in it. And that will assist. Now, you don't need it but it's more efficient if you do have it. Let's look at this video. As you can see over here, oil is coming through the electrode, and that helps in removing the eroded particles as it's EDMing. And when this tank fills up over here, this will resume cutting. As you can see, these two are done, and we're gonna be putting the third hex into this piece. Now the tank is being filled with oil. And once it reaches the proper place, it will resume EDMing the hex. You might not see this, but the machine is pecking this hex into the part. And here we see the fumes being collected by the air filtration system. If you notice in all these diagrams, we have dielectric oil, but there's an important thing I want to speak about, and that is flash point. This oil will burn, ignite, 
into a fire. And we've had it done on our machines already. We have fire extinguishers on our machines. If that happens, it will quench that fire. And they recommend the oil to be under 165 degrees or 74 degrees centigrade. If it gets too hot, it will automatically burn. Now that spark that occurs in here, they say it goes up to 14,500 to 22,000 degrees Fahrenheit or 8,000 degrees to 12,000 degrees centigrade. So it gets tremendously hot, that oil. And so that's why a chiller is used always to keep that oil at a constant temperature. I'd like to speak to you about a problem we had in machining these graphite electrodes. We have a bandsaw where we cut the graphite. We also have milling machines and they're, and they're enclosed and we have an air filtration system. We also have an air filtration system when we cut the graphite. Yet, in spite of that, we had graphite dust even in our kitchen and it also was all over the shop. The way we solved the problem, we built another building and put all our machines and the RAM EDMs into another building. And that solved our problem. There's dust still over there, but we solved the problem in our main building. I've explained to you how RAM EDM works. If you want more information, there's a book that we have on our website called Complete EDM Handbook. My son Steve and I wrote the book. And also colleges and trade schools purchased the book and use as a textbook. There's questions at the back. And there's also lots of information in there about wire EDM and small hole EDM. Located in the heart of the high-tech energy capital of the world, Reliable has the largest EDM job shop capabilities in North America, specializing nationwide in wire, RAM, and small hole EDM. Our commitment to our customers and our passion for technology has made us the EDM specialists.